What's up homies? Welcome back to my channel. I am Kanima and in today's video, I will be making brownies. But these are not just any ordinary brownies. No, 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 no. Full disclosure, I got this recipe from someone I followed on Instagram. I will put her information below. However, whenever I come across a great recipe or something that is good, I like to share it with all of you, my viewers. Because you are my few faithful viewers who keeps coming back to see me. So, of course I'm gonna share these guilt-free brownies with you. It's made out of black beans and oatmeal. And yet, they are super delicious. So, let's get baking. So the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees and make sure you line your baking pan. I'm using one cup of black beans from a can, half a cup of oat flour, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, that's the brand I use right there, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a third cup of maple syrup, you could use honey or agave, I've used both all three actually and it works perfectly now you're gonna pulse this in your food processor about I don't know 10 or so times until everything is combined and it looks like that you're gonna grab a big bowl or a large bowl and then you're gonna put the contents from the food processor into the bowl so now what you want to do is grab another bowl and put one cup of semi-sweet baking chocolate chips in that bowl. I'm using a third cup of coconut oil and you're going to mix that together. You're going to put it into your microwave. I let mine go for about 30 seconds. And when it came out, it looked like that, a little bit lumpy. And so what I did, I put it in back for another 10 and then it was this smooth as you see here. Now you're gonna add your melted chocolate that is combined with your coconut oil to your black bean mixture here. Make sure you get all of that out. Now you're gonna whisk two eggs and you're going to add that to your bowl. You're gonna mix everything here, combine it well, and you're done. I'm using an eight by eight baking pan, or I think mine is nine by nine. But eight by eight would work fine. Um, if you're gonna get a little bit of a thicker brownie in an 8x8 pan so I'm using a 9x9 I think anyways you know what to do just use a nice pan make sure all the edges are filled out like that and now you're ready to bake put it into your preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes when it comes out it looks like that you're gonna put it on a rack and let it cool completely before you cut into it. Now here I'm just putting it on the board after it's cooled a bit and I'm gonna make some slices. Just like so. Does anyone else hate using parchment paper? Like you love it but you hate it. I hate to cut around the shapes of it. And there you have it, my people. Just enjoy this. It is so rich, I tell you. No lies. And delicious. And moist. Oh my God. I ate so many of this. <laughs> so many of these all at once. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna like, you know, put it on my little tray here and we're good to go. Remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below if you will try it. Guys, look at this. You can... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, after that interruption, I just wanted to show you. See? These are so soft and so yummy. I could hardly ever wait for when they are completely cooled but I'm gonna break it to show you how crumbly just how crumbly it is like where is like <laughs> see it's it's very soft and loose but it still holds together 
it's like a rich chocolate cake. I'm telling you. It's so, 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 so moist. So rich. I use dark chocolate chips. She said to use just chocolate chips. But I feel even better. I feel less guilt just because there's dark chocolate chips in here. And I know that chocolate chips are good for you. Um, I mean, there's nothing. To... <laughs> Please do try it. You just have to try it. Please. Okay. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. Two or three days down the line. Mine never lasts that long. It's always gone the first day. So these are really good hello thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye